Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tina Marie and today I am going to be talking about another fragrance that just launched and that everybody has been waiting to see what it is about. Um, I know that the Sephora website just had a launch a few days ago. Um, however, I bought this fragrance a little bit before that. I bought it from a Canadian website. However, it came a little late because um, I had to return it. I got the wrong fragrance and I was supposed to get it on the 22nd. Yet, um, it didn't happen because we had that problem where they send the wrong fragrance. But today I got it in the mail and we have it here. And I'm talking about the Black Opium Over Red. Um, I did smell it before I am doing this review just because I feel like I could give a better input about the fragrance if I wear it and I have a sense of the upper notes and then the dry down as well. So here I am and the packaging is pretty straightforward uh, or like the original one. Um, I'm going to open it so that you see how the design is reminiscent to the other two opiums. So it looks like this and it's very beautiful because it's a very translucent red and it's a deep cherry red. However, you, you can't really pick it up here on the video but from here in my point of view with the lighting i do see that very uh beautiful uh true deep red on the bottle and it's not heavy at all it is glass but it's not heavy and the cap is really hard to like open and that's something that i kind of didn't like from the packaging but i'm gonna spray this and i'm gonna let you know uh, what i think about the top notes mint notes and then the dry down so I'm going to spray it here on my hand and all right. So the top notes, I do smell the cherry right away. It's a floral cherry. It's not that syrupy maraschino cherry or that tart cherry that you get from Lost Cherry. Uh, this one is more of that uh, cherry blossom note. I do get a little bit of the coffee. Uh, sitting on the back of this whole blend and I also get a little bit of vanilla now as it dries down I could smell like that transition from the top notes to the mint notes and the mint notes I do smell this rice note but this is more of a sticky rice a uh, white rice note you know, when you go out and eat sushi or sticky rice in general, like that's how it smells. And it's kind of like not gourmand, but it feels like authentic note of rice. And it's sweet at the same time, but not gourmand. This is um, very interesting. I don't know how I would categorize this at all because I see a blend of vanilla with the rice and a little bit of the cherry, which makes this very interesting. To me, it takes me back when I visited uh, Japan where it was springtime and I saw the cherry blossom and I was walking through, you know, all these beautiful flowers and the cherry blossom trees. And I get that vibe. Um, however, I feel like this fragrance, you could wear it um, on, like, I feel like only springtime because it does have that floral note. But it also has that sticky rice and that sticky rice even if it's sweet it's very light um and it does have the cherry blossom note to it so i feel like that's more of a spring fragrance um but i mean you could wear it uh during the day or this could be a signature scent this does not come out as a very deep uh fragrance uh i don't say this is for nighttime unless you want to layer it but um, the sillage, I did notice that the projection is not very strong. When I applied it on my body, I asked my husband to let me know like what he thought about the performance. And he said that he can't smell it unless he gets close to me. So, and that was on a fresh spray. I put it on and I asked him, can you smell me? So he said no. And then he got closer and then that's when he started to smell all the notes. Now, um, I see that the dry down with this fragrance stays with that rice note and then it gets a little bit warmer but not too warm with the vanilla and then there's some like woody note in there that's lingering in the back but it's not um very strong this is a very like light fragrance 
And um, now I'm going to read the notes from the website. So I'm going to go in for Gantica. And for Gantica, oh my goodness, got stuck. Okay, Fragantica says it's a floral fruity gourmand. Now, I don't think it's a gourmand because it's not very sweet at all. It's it's like a well-balanced uh, floral fruity um, note, but it's not like gourmandish. It's not super sweet. Um, it says it has top notes of cherry, green mandarin, with mint notes of jasmine, orange blossom, and black tea. Okay, I do smell like some type of blossom and the cherry. Maybe that's why I thought it was cherry blossom. I also smelled like a little bit of that tartness of the cherry, but not too strong. So that might be the green mandarin. All right, so for the next notes, which is the base notes, uh, it has coffee, it has Madagascar vanilla, and Indonesia patchouli leaf. I do not see a rice note in here, which is pretty interesting because I do smell like a rice note. It, it, I could smell the sticky rice there. Um, the vanilla I do smell with the coffee. Uh, once it starts getting to the dry down and then uh, the patchouli leaf, I do not smell at all unless it's that warm woody note. So yeah, um, I don't know why it doesn't say it has that sticky rice, but if you do, um, check this out in store uh if it's available in store um it is like there that note is like so prominent with that sticky rice scent so this retails about 155 if you do get the big bottle this size right here this one is the 1.7 fluid ounces this one is going to be $130. For the big uh, bottle, which is a three point fluid ounces, it's going to be $155. And let's see, for the smaller one, it's going to be $95 on website. It's available now in Sephora website as well as Kohl's website. Um, I don't think it's still available in store, but I suggest that you should wait till it's out in the store and try it out because I feel this is um, an acquired taste for anyone that's trying to venture out from the traditional notes from fragrances. This is not going to be your traditional gourmet scent like that's very feminine or that's very girly. This is more of an experimental um, floral fruity gourmet scent. Okay this is kind of reminiscent, like I said, of that sticky rice with the cherry blossoms and the vanilla. And I think it's nice if you are a fragrance collector and you like to collect unique fragrances and you like to venture out from all the uh, mainstream fragrances. But um, so try it out. I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I think it's it's nice. It's different. However, um, it's not a blind buy at all. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my review. So don't forget to subscribe on Marie the Artist as well. Press that notification bar just in case you want to see more videos like this.